Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of a line joining two known points, P minus 6 minus 2, Q, 6, 4, and then uh, we're going to give the equation of the line in the format AX plus BY is equal to 2D. Before we start, we've got to sort of find out um, what, what do we actually mean by the perpendicular bisector. Well, the perpendicular bisector is a line, so here's my point P, and my point Q drawn on an XY plane. The perpendicular bisector will be this line such that this distance here and this distance here are the same. So bisect cuts this line PQ exactly in half and also it cuts it at 90 degrees. All right, now there are four steps that you need to do. You need to find the midpoint of PQ you need to find the gradient of PQ and then you need to use the property of the gradient of the perpendicular to PQ and then you put that all together to find the equation and what we're going to do, we're going to do each of these steps one by one. So step one is to find the midpoint of PQ. So going back to this we're going to write down PQ and we're going to label the first one X1, Y1 and the second one X2, Y2 and then we're going to find, first of all, the midpoint. Now, one point in mind is that steps 1 and 2 are interchangeable. You can do them in any order. Right, to find the midpoint of the line, we've already established we use x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So, putting the right numbers in, so that's minus 6 plus 6 divided by 2, comma, minus 2 plus 4, divided by 2. So it's going to give me 0 divided by 2, 2 over 2, which gives me the point, the midpoint being 0, 1. If we just nip, nip back to this, we can see if I click here and here, we can get the midpoint 0, 1, and we can see that it's actually 0, 1 on the graph. Step 2. Remember, step 2 and step 1 are interchangeable. So find the gradient of PQ, so to find the gradient of, of a line joining two points, we use Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So we've got 4, Y2 minus minus 2, divided by 6 minus minus 6. So you need to be very careful with the minus sign, so it's going to give me 4 plus 2 in the numerator and four plus, uh, 6 plus 6 in the denominator. That gives me 6 over 12, which cancels down to being a half. Again, going back to this, if we click on this one here, and I will attach this applet into the notes of the video. So here we've got, we're finding the gradient being a half. So the gradient of this line is a half. We can see from, by looking at the squares, for every two squares along, I go up one. For every two squares, I go up one. For every two squares, I go up one. Step number three, we need, need to find the gradient of the perpendicular, which we're going to call MP. So we know if we multiply the gradient of two lines which are perpendicular, then the product is minus 1, which allows you to find that MP will be minus 1 over M. M was a half, so we need to do minus 1 divided by a half, which is minus 1 times 2 over 1, which is minus 2. So again, going back to this, we've got here that MP is equal to minus 1 over M, minus 1 divided by a half, half goes into 1, 2 times, so it becomes minus 2. And we can see very easily, because we've actually drawn the line here, for every 1 along, we go 2 down. Every 1 along, we go 2 down. The final step is 4, is to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector. And to do that, we know that MP is minus 2, and we've got the M, the midpoint, is 0, 1. And now we use Y, now normally we use Y minus Y1, but because we've already used Y1 and Y2, we're going to call it Y minus Y3 is equal to the gradient of the perpendicular times X minus X3 where this point here is MP, and these points is X3, X3. 
y3. Now you know that the formula is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, but we've only used x1 and x2, so we've got this one x3 and y3. So that's going to be y minus 1 is equal to the gradient minus 2 times x minus 0. So it's just going to give me y minus 1 is equal to minus 2x, as minus 2 times 0 is 0. We're asked to give it in the third format, so I'm going to bring the 2 over here, the 1 over here. So we've got 2x plus y, and then the minus 1 over here will give me 1, and therefore I get the format ax plus by is equal to d. And therefore, skipping back to this, we can see very clearly that the equation of this line here, the perpendicular bisector, is 2x plus y is equal to 1. So there are four steps. 1. Find the midpoint of the original two points. Find the gradient. Step number 2. Find the gradient of the two, between the two points. Step 3. Find the gradient of the perpendicular to PQ using MP is equal to minus 1 over M. And then finally, find the equation of the perpendicular bisector by using Y minus Y3 is equal to MP X minus X3. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of a line joining two points P and Q. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching. Just remind you that the applet, a link to the applet, is in the notes of this video. Thank you very much.